or the left? Whisper. So make sure your zero is on the left. And if we're going from least to greatest. Okay. So if we're, picture it's like a number line. Hmm. Would we have a B if we have a group of numbers? No. So let's reason through that. Look at what you have. So I want to ask that again. If we're doing these in order from least to greatest, on the left-hand side, what number will we start with? Zero. Zero, then? One. Then? Two. Three. So look at your left side and make sure you're in order from zero. Okay, I'm going to give you a set of directions and you're going to follow them and you're going to take the number and you're going to kind of move and build a new number kind of either right above or below where you have your little number line made. If you're not using a number, they stay in order there. You are going to need to use your decimal point, so you're going to have to think about where that will go. So here's your first clue. Pick up the difference of 12 and 4 and place it in the tenths place. That's a lot of directions. Think that through. Pick up the difference of 12 and 4 and place it in the tenths place. Whisper to your shoulder partner, what does difference mean? Pick up the difference of 12 and 4. What is that? Whisper to your shoulder partner. The difference between 12 and 4. Mm -hmm. And then where are you going to put that number? In the what place did I say? Tenths place. So everyone should have a decimal and then an eight next to it in the tenths place. Okay? So where's your decimal point? Okay. We can't have the tenths place if we don't have a decimal. So everyone needs a decimal with their number right now. Okay, I'm going to give you the second clue. Pick up the number in half a dozen and place it in the hundredths place. Pick up the number in half a dozen and place it in the hundredths place. She leave the other number where it is. So the number you're building should be on the ground in front of you. No one should be holding any cards right now. Whispered me, how much is in half a dozen? Six. Great. Okay. Pick up the total number of sides on a triangle and a rhombus and place it in the tens place. Okay, listen, that's a lot of directions. You've got to hold a lot of information in your brain. Pick up the total number of sides on a triangle and a rhombus and place it in the tens place. Show me on your fingers what two numbers are we working with there. No total of no, no. Show me on your fingers. One hand is for triangle, one hand is for rhombus. Okay. Total. And that, what are we going to be doing? Add, subtract, multiply, divide in this context. Okay. Place it in the tens place. The tens are tens. Also, it's an even whole number, so you're going to be making a number, okay, so listen to the rest of this clues. You're making an even whole number with every digit between 3 and 9. You're going to be making it, your number is going to go to the hundreds place. So pick two more numbers that are going to make the rest of those clues. An even whole number with every digit is between 3 and 9. So 
do you need to add a number to the ones place? Thank you. And do you need to add a number to the hundredths place? Remember our seven from our triangle and rhombus that was in the tens place. Miss so we're Dinesh. adding a number to the ones place and the hundreds place. We're placing a number there. An even whole number. What does that tell us about our ones yes. place? Share with your shoulder partner. Hey, I what will our ones place have to be? Share with your shoulder partner. Can you, can you tell me when we're supposed to be done with recess? What does that mean? 950. What kinds of numbers are you I'm on it. Thank you. Um, Guys, see, I heard a lot of y'all say it has to be an even number. What makes it an even number? I want you to think about like divisibility rules. Share with your shoulder partner. What will make that an even number? Okay, eyes on me. Some of you don't have all these numbers in yet, okay? So listen to these last couple of clues to make sure you have a number in the hundreds, tens, and ones. So an even whole number, so make sure you have something that's even in the ones, and every digit is between three and nine. So what does that mean if it's between three and nine? Think about that a minute. So could three be in our ones place? No. Look at with your shoulder partner and see if you have the same number. Okay, we should have 574 and 8600. If you don't have that number, please build that number real quick. 574, 8600. Now, with that number, you're going to do a few more things. So with that number you've already built, now build the largest number you can using just those five numbers that you have. So you don't need the rest of your numbers. Leave them there, but the five numbers you built your number with, change it to the largest number you can make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave your decimal point. It'll still just be into the hundreds place. Hundreds and hundreds. Do we have, do we have to do Yes. You still have to Same place value we have, so hundreds and hundreds. So keep the number in the hundreds place and the hundreds place. Look with your shoulder partner and see if you have the same number. If you don't, discuss why. Okay, now... Using those same numbers and the same thing, hundreds and hundreds place, now build the smallest number you can. <laughs> smallest number you can. Look at your shoulder partner and see if you have the same number. Yes. What number is in our hundreds place? Everyone whisper that to me. Four. Four. Everyone make sure your number has a four in the hundreds place. That's the smallest number we're using, right? Mm -hmm. So that would go in our hundreds place would be the smallest number we have. Right, and then it'll go down or up in order from there. So we'll have four. Five, six, so 456, and seven, eight, Okay, last clue. Last one we're going to do. We're going to still do three numbers, decimal point, two numbers. So hundreds and hundreds, please. Build the number that is closest to 700 using these five digits. Closest to 700. And it's not Well, can we make 700? No. No, we don't have enough zeros. So closest to 700 using these numbers.
Put your eyes back on. Look down. Your right hand. You take your right hand. Yep, there we go. Okay. Share with me a number you have, someone. Yes, sir. Six hundred eighty-seven and fifty-four hundred. Someone else share with me a number. Um, seven hundred forty-five and sixty-eight. Anyone have any other numbers? Uh, seven hundred forty-five and eighty-six hundred. Let's look at these. Think about my clue. Closest to 700. I want you to do some mental math a minute. How far from 700 is this? How far from 700 is this? How far from 700 is this? Think about that and then be ready to discuss which one is closest to 700. Here's some ideas you have. Yes, sir. We know that. Oh, I don't think it's place for estimating. Estimate about how far from 700 is this one? Share with your shoulder 45. partner. 45. Yeah. Great. Around 45. Okay. Estimate about how far from 700 is this one? We can count on 87, 97, 98, 99, 700. So this is about 13. So which is closer? This one's right? Great job. Great job. It's hard when you say closer to 700, your brain kind of goes to that it has to be in the 700s, right? Okay, with the numbers you have, put, take every number that is larger than 5 and put it back in your baggie. Every number that is larger than 5 and put it back in your baggie. Is going to be 5? Hmm, let's think about that. Is 5 larger than 5? Yeah. Hmm, what is 5 and 5? What's the word we use for that? Equal. They're equal to each other, so it is not larger than. So every number larger than 5. So you're 6. Seven, eight, and nine will be in your bag. Take every number that is three or smaller, three or smaller, and put it in your bag. Place your decimal point back in the bag. Come up with a clue for the number you have left and share it with your partner. You need a clue, so you're not just telling him the number, you would say something it's close about to that number. Once you've shared your clue, put it in the back. Put it in the back.